Hey everyone and welcome back to Wide Open Water. Today I'm going to do a quick video on the hot lures right now for walleye on Lake Mille and I'm sure that these lures could be used on any other body of water. The first lure I'm going to talk about is the Northland Buckshot Spoon. It is a one quarter ounce or that's the largest size that I've found and I really like a bigger presentation. I took a fathead minnow and I would take the head off it and put it on the treble hook there and I would do big rips off the bottom as you can kind of see in this video to the side and I'm doing these big rips off the bottom and eventually once I see a walleye or mark something on my Vexlar, in this case I had an aqua view, I would start slowing it down and just do little jigs until the walleye eats it. Well I got him up. It's, it might be 19 or 20, I don't know. That was awesome, there's three of them on the aqua view. It is 17 and a half. First walleye of the day, let's see if we can get some more. The next lure I'm going to talk about is the Rapala Chicken Wrap, and I was using it in the size 3 and size 4, so it's kind of the smaller ones, about an inch and a half long. Uh, the hot color was the Fire Tiger, or just regular perch, and I was doing big rips similar to the spoon, allowing the lure to dart around in kind of a figure 8, and then once something came into it, you got to start slowing it down, and just having the lure just jiggle up and down. Uh, I did find that tipping it with the minnow head helped a lot more. That almost was like the key factor that allowed the walleye to entice them or get them to bite the lure. He's about the same size as my first one. Yeah, he hammered that uh, jig and wrap though. Huh? There's my second fish. Not as big as the one that you had, Justine, though. There he goes. Next up we have the Acme Hyperglide. It's very similar to the chicken wrap. You work it the same way, ripping it up, but the only difference is that it's a lot lighter and it has these wings that come out when it has in the free fall. So it has a very slow descent. I tipped it with a minnow head as well, but overall I think this lure is really great and it's a little more subtle. I really like that it has the slow descent and when you're working it at the bottom, when you're just jiggling it, these little wings flap there, and I think that with such a little motion, there's still a lot of action for the walleye. Yeah, that time of the day. <laughs> we got one. Get it. Just a little guy. It's a nugget. <laughs> little nugget. That ain't even a <laughs> nugget. <laughs> that ain't even a fish stick. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed today's episode. It was a lot of fun fishing up there in Lake Mille Lacs, and I hope that you guys are able to take something from this video. I'm not saying that these lures are the only way to catch walleye up there. There's thousands and thousands of lures out there that you can try for walleye. But today, or that day specifically, is this is just what worked for us. Um, we also had luck using uh, sucker minnows on tip-ups. So if you wanted to give that a shot, definitely do it. Live bait's never a bad thing to do for walleye. But until next time, I'm Camden Droppo with Wide Open Water, and I'll catch you later.